Hello boys and girls. Um, I've had some questions on how to uh, configure and run the new Amiga emulator so I decided to do a video. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to overclock and most canoes can handle 750 without a problem. Only downside is battery life isn't very good. Uh, mouse speed doesn't really matter because you're not really going to have too many games that use it. But if you uh, do, um, just press 2x. Then you're going to go down to more options. And you're going to select PAL for the video mode because most of the Amiga games were European. You're going to want the memory chip size to be 1 meg. Number of drives 2. Uh, select no on auto fire. Uh, status in, you're going to want to be turned on. Um, basically what it does is uh, puts three little uh, boxes at the bottom. Shows the sectors and the hard drive movement. Uh, therefore you know that your game isn't locked up, that it's actually loading when the numbers go up. Enable screenshot if you want to. Um, I don't. Skip intros if you want to skip the little uh, cracking crew uh, intros. I love them so I leave them. Um, Kickstart, you're going to want to use 1.3. It's a 512k um, ROM. I'm going to include it. It'll just be called kick.rom. You can put it in the root of the UAE for all directory. Hardware scaling, you're going to select no because it makes everything go off the screen. It doesn't seem to work correctly. Then you got your control config. You can uh, set it to default or number one and number two. Number two makes the B button jump and button 1 X or you can use number 1 which makes jump X and button 1 B. Um, I prefer that so I select that. Then what you're going to do is you can go to the main menu again. Then you're going to go ahead and select save general config. You're going to press any button after it's been saved. And then what you're going to want to do because the dead zones aren't set up on here, um, sometimes it's a pain in the neck. Um, it'll press it like three times and it won't let you go back and forth to directories. So leave it on run start. Actually, I'm sorry. Leave it on reset. And then what you're going to do to select a disk image, you're just going to press the left bumper. Um, I'm going to run Assassin because I love this game and it has two disks. Um, actually, no, it doesn't. It only has one. I'm sorry. By the way, we just passed Alien Breed. You want to play that game because it's awesome. Okay, we're going to select um, Assassin Special Edition. And as you can see, this thing's being a big pain in my butt. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down the um, B button. Because I already had reset set there. That's my little workaround, I guess. Don't know if you can really see it. Um, see the, there we go. See the red, how it's going up, the numbers are going up, and that means it's loading. Um, you'll also see the middle one, it's green, and that'll start moving up. It takes a little bit of while uh, for it to load up. Um, that's because if you go back to home, if I can get back. Okay, this thing's a pain in the ass. Never mind, I'll show you later. Sorry about that, guys. We gotta start from scratch on the actual uh, loading time. Basically what I was going to show you is uh, the threshold, you can set it at certain things. By default it's at 50, which usually works with a lot of games, but sometimes the game won't load if it's set at 50. You can play around with like 75 and 20, um, but usually when it doesn't load and it's set to 50, um, put it up to 100 and 9 times out of 10 it'll load for you.
Hopefully my camera will focus for you guys. As you can see, it works pretty well. If you want the uh, mouse, if you want to use it, um, button one is a left mouse button. Button number two is the second mouse button. Um, a lot of the games, um, you know, want a joystick port, of course. So if you notice when I press that, it goes to joystick. Uh, and then if you press uh, it again, which is the left bumper to get that to come up, you're going to want the one with the keyboard and the joystick there. That way you can just press the joystick button and if you need the keyboard, you can activate the keyboard. So now I'm just going to press start. And here we are loading again. Um, this actually loads faster than a, a regular Amiga unless you had an action replay which would cache stuff. Um, I don't know how we dealt with it, but we did. There it goes. Or maybe. This thing might make a liar of me. There it goes. Let's let it focus here, the camera focus. As you can see, um, I'm pressing left and right. But it's very sensitive, so if because there's no dead zones, if I'm a little bit off, it'll automatically have the guy jump. So as soon as the dead zones are fixed, this is going to really be cool. Um, you can see that it's running pretty much 100%, or at least what I can see is 100%. So that's enough of that. I'll let you guys play your own. Um, definitely play Assassin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a multi-disc game. And uh, notice I'm still on reset, so I'm going to press L to load an image if it'll let me. Usually when it does this, it's just better to go ahead and exit and go back in. I'm sure the uh, final product won't do this, guys. So uh, don't worry. OK, remember what I said? Go down to reset. Oh, here's the sync threshold I was talking about. See, it's 50 by default. Um, like I said, some you know you can play around with 25 and 75, but usually nine times out of ten, if a game won't load at 50, just put it to 100 and everything's okay. So I set that at reset, select image, and we'll go down to Alien Breed here. Okay. Alright, this is actually a, a good example. As you can see, um, it wants you to use the mouse, but uh, you can just use the touch screen to go down on the mouse. And then when it's at start game, you just press 1 for the left mouse button. And then it says right mouse button right there, I don't know if you can see that. So I press number 2 for the right mouse button. Alien Breed takes a while to load, um, so I'm just going to cut the video right here and bring it up to where it says uh, insert disk 2. So it politely asks you to insert disk 2, so you're going to press the home button. You're going to still be at reset. But this time when you're inserting a, a second disk, you're going to want it to be at run start. And then you're going to press L. And it actually went to the secondary uh, disk already for some reason. Um, that was just luck. So I'm going to select it. And then click on run start. And then you can just press B. Oh, actually, because I haven't changed. Press X. Sorry about that. So you can see the numbers are going up now. Um, yeah, they are, okay. 
Actually, that should go away, so maybe I have to press the left mouse button. I'm not sure. There it goes. And here's Alien Bleed. Um, start game. Just press B. As you can see, it's loading again, but the numbers are going up, so we know it's not locked up. Here we go. Okay, see how I'm not I'm moving and it's not going. So this is where you're gonna press the left bumper and select the keyboard and joystick um, picture, and now it works. And then here's my gun. And as you can see, it runs really, really good. And uh, once again, this is a great game. I'm not gonna play it much because I don't want to ruin any of it for you guys. So this is the end of the video.